to a custom plushie review. I don't know which part this is. I think it's part five. It's part five. Sure. Yeah, let's get Scorton. So let's got Scott Scorton. You saw the beautiful little boy boy. Because you I had to close the door. You keep sorry, mate. This is Scott Cawthon. I made it. Well, it's kind of just like his avatar. It's not actually Scott Cawthon. It's his avatar. So it's just like a blue cue. I think it's Adam Dude. It's like one of the last Dreadfold things I have made. He's got a little 8-bit piece. He's just like cube. This little technique comes into play later in another plushie. Oh, with the plush babies. They're not actually plushes. They're flat pieces of fabric. So there is a uh, plush baby red, scrap plush baby red, normal plush baby red, normal plush baby yellow with wild eye, scrap plush yellow baby without eye, blue scrap plush baby, normal blue plush baby. I don't know how these are it's confusing, but they are for some reason. So the ooga booga. <laughs> Maybe I could use it in a Chucky style video. Then we have Bonnet. The remake. Yeah, but I turned my Bond Bond doable into a monster. So bye bye. <laughs> oh Dark Spring Trap. I am Dark Spring Trap. Come join me on a feast of the day. Yeah ha ha Yeah, he's called more withered than normal spring trap plushy. And I guess he just doesn't have a pelvis, I guess. He's got the phantom eyes. And he's, like, a dark, because he's dark. I still gave it the red instead of, like, a burnt, like, velvet. Yeah, I gave him, like, burnt-looking teeth. Bull brown nose. and kind of looks like an alien. Not gonna lie, my guys. Then we have Flaming spring trap, which I don't, I think turned out pretty well. He's like, I'm burning. Boom, boom, boom. Help me, boom, boom. Yeah, so he's just, like, a dark darkened color he's brown he's got some withering on the back he's got a little withering everything and all like the withered stuff is like burnt and red and fire because he's flamed because broski's gotta light him up, up, up light him up, up, up light him up <coughs> this is filler ouchie uh, ouchie <laughs> Heart Sick Baby, another long awaited remake that I've been wanting to make for a while, but just now just got around to it. I think this turned out miles better than any of the other baby plushies I've done, except for Scrap Baby, because that's superior. But this is a really good looking baby custom. I think I pulled it off really well. I mean, the wing's pretty good, I like. It's just like, I could use it again, it's like. <sighs> gotta use it for a different idea, but probably not for like. Valentine's Day, probably just for like a little random video that I get to do. There's airplanes. Shut the heck up! I'm gonna fly up to you. Yeah, uh, she's got a little heart and more. He has heart cheeks. Heart cheek. Um, I like her shoes. I gave her the little bells, but they're like a more dark purple. She's got her little shoulder pad thingies. Looks pretty good. And I think it turned out pretty well. I even gave the freckles that I added to my baby. <laughs> All right, hard mode, Freddy, from Six Help Wanted. Um, this character is literally just Black Freddy, with the chest thing and red eyes. It's bland, I know, but I don't know. It's the best I could do at this point. I know it doesn't look good, but okay, still has the plastic nose, so it's good. Then I have Scorching Chica, Magma Chica, whatever. But what I did was, since I have the Liberty Chica plushie, and her tag is bent, I am sad now. Oh, yeah, that's bent bad. That's no, oh gosh. Yeah, since I have the Liberty Chica plushie, I took, like, the base from that, made it to this plushie. So I had the Cupcake, which is almost the exact same. It's like... This, okay, so, the, the cupcake's on fire and it catch everything on fire. Turn into this thing. Oh, 
Oh, so yeah. And it's like all burnt it's with a charcoal color and it's kind of like magma y, lava y. I don't think that's a word -y. But I think it looks pretty cool, my opinion at least. It should really make us blushy. Simple, it's fun. Hmm. And then we have hard mode chica, which is pretty much just black light chica without an arm. <laughs> So it's black like Chico, but pretty much out of arm because that's how it is in the game. I would have added the buttons, but I already added with that Bonnie. So yellow eyes, eyebrows, and it's just like a purple color. It's pretty cool looking, I think. Boom. Then we have hard mode Bonnie, which is just black like Bonnie. I think it's a different color in the game, actually. I don't care. I went with black light, and I added the two buttons that are in the game. I did not. Add the face, might make an outline for it later, maybe add some teeth to give it like that effect, but right now it's just black light bunny with buttons. It's like, I like the colors on this one, because lots of people say that now. Um, <coughs> <coughs> sorry, fine, just a little cough, but I really like this one. I also like how it just has a brown nose. Now we have Burnt Foxy, which is technically hard mode Foxy, and find as ready as I wanted. So I gave it a hook. It's pretty much just a normal Foxy with like scratch. Uh, it's got the teeth, it's got the eye patch, and it's, it's even got like little tufts of fur, and it's got just got a cheese. Um, so yeah, it's also got a bit of the withering that normal Foxy does. I think this turned out pretty well. Uh, you may have other opinions. But this is just what I think, personally, so. Yeah! It's your me, your Foxy. You guys should watch the new Mario movie trailer. It's pretty snazzy. Bro, I didn't know Mario Kart would be in it. Next thing you know, they're gonna add Cappy. Um. Okay, Princess Quest, since these characters technically have already been revealed in my videos. So this is the little Princess Quest girl, which I named Goldie in the video. You probably want to go watch my past fear, yep. Theory, um, yeah, snaggy. So, uh, this is like Goldie, gold, Golden Freddy. Uh, so I named her this because well, she's pretty, she's got gold on and she's yellow. I hid her, 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 I hid her little sword that she had in the episode in her hair because it's like a little hollow in there. So instead of having the blonde hair, she just has white hair because I didn't want it to like blend too well. Her crown turned out pretty well. She has a little, like, collar thing. She's got little, pat these little, like, patches and goes on. This pretty good. Her skirt is tiny, but I think it adds, like, I think it adds pretty cool. I mean, even though you can barely even see the gold, which I wanted it to be like that, it still looks nice in perspective. Like, when you're down there, it's, you know, I mean, it's spooky. Um, but I think the shoes are cool, too. They got a little more bells, and I think this turned out pretty well, especially since it's uh, something I haven't done before human but my style but i already did the to the gregory and vanessa so it's too late for that i guess you're last my guy um so who's that okay i guess this is uh i'll give you both do the both so these are the little like head minions the little glitch trap minions or princess quest glitch trap minions I don't know what his little story will be. Maybe it'll be connected to him, but I haven't fully like decided that yet. So it's, 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 you'll you'll find out. Um, but this one's had like one eye and then like a big smile. This one has like a sort of like faded smile and like sad eyes. So like it's like oh I'm sad. Hey brother, you stupid bunk. Yeah, so they're just little black bonny heads. And then we have the more cooler one, which, to be completely honest, I might use in more videos, actually. Because I think, like, I have some good... I'm not going to spoil anything, but I got some good ideas for the Christmas videos. Uh, don't worry. Okay. Yeah. So, um, here is the other Princess Quest minion. It's another Glitch Trap minion, and this one's green. So, he's got, like, long arms, because in the game, um, he has, like, really long arms, and I didn't want to, like, stuff really long arms, because it's kind of hard to do that. So, I just did that. His ears are long. He's got, like, a weird, like, split between his mouth and eye, and other mouth, piece of his mouth and eye. He's got a little bow, green bow tie, and I think he looks pretty well. He's got even got little thumbs. Pretty much just mittens, but who cares? 
Um, then we have Monster Glitch Trap, which I think looks pretty well. I made this forever ago. I literally started these plushies like three weeks ago. Uh, I just finished um two days ago. Sunday I finished. I finished Sunday. So, like, yeah, it's, I've been working hard trying to get this video out for you guys. Um, so this is Monster Glitch Trap. I wanted to use this little color, um, but I didn't have any of that at the time, so I just used uh, this color. I may go, I'm not going to go back and around and remake the entire thing so I can add that color. It looks fine right here. Looks good, too. So it has a little, like, glitch trap coming out. I don't know what these are. There's his bow tie, and he's got little tentacles. And he's got a little another one right there. His face is like, bleh, and he's got little white pupils. Not really dilated, kind of like how I kind of wanted it, but it's still nice looking. I think, so this is like, without the ears, this is like, there's him. It's almost, I guess, double the size, almost, I guess. So, that's pretty cool. Let's see. <coughs> I'm going to get a jumbo lefty, right? Because um, later I'm going to have a really big plushie. So, here's Jumbo Lefty, and because he's my only Jumbo, and here is um, Monster Glitch Trap. He's about up to his ears, the ears, but right here he's probably about to his cheek. So, there, there's Monster Glitch Trap. Keep him out of the box, because there's nothing else going to fit in here except for these last ones. Speaking of last ones, let's go on to the security breach section. So, um, this is Shattered S Glamrock Freddy. Uh, you might know, if you're, you're a diehard FNAF fan, you might only know... Uh, you still uh, I updated his their page with a image of all the shattered animatronics, including a new model, like a really new model of Shattered Glamrock Freddy. Shattered Glamrock Freddy is this plushie. So shatter, I made a shammer, Shattered Glamrock Freddy a while ago. Made a tape. Do not go watch those cringy. Uh, don't remind me of those cringy freaking tape plushies. I made better ones now. They're hot glued instead of taped. I have talent. Okay, so a while ago I made one. It's crap, and I ended up destroying it because it was garbage. So, and I was never gonna make one again until they made an official model. So when Steel Will made the official model, I was like, "Oh, now I gotta do this." So I did, and I added it. But here's the thing: it was no DLC rumor. It was no DLC. It was no like updates to the game. It was no like actual. 3D comic book slides. It was for a Halloween freaking sale. They could have. Black Friday was a month away. You could have waited, Steel Wool. You could. Why did you have to freaking kill us all? Like, like. You said. Okay, so you release a picture of the character you have not released yet, and you're like, you're expecting to get a, a reaction out of it, and then you just break it. You break the reaction entirely. You say, oh, it's for a Halloween spe sale. Who said that was happening? Bro, we were so hyped for a t day or two before you announced that. And then you just shut it all down. You just shut all our hopes down. No DLC stuff. No nothing. I made the plush. It looks good. It's got, like, missing parts. It's, it's kind of got the idea. It's got the Roxy eyes. Cause that's, I think that's how it is. It's got like teeth. That's the I look teeth. So it's four teeth. It's not bad. It's got the plastic nose too, so it's pretty good. It's got shattered bits. Yeah, I'm I'm just going on a rant about steel wool right now. I'm sorry. I uh, I feel like I've made two videos about ranting on Illumix. I can do it a little bit on steel wool. Steel wool isn't as bad, isn't as bad but I can get on a, a, a Lumix on another day. Another day, my my guy, the mean Lumix literally shut down their entire thing just to tell us that they're gonna come back in 2023. A month ago, their last thing was Fun Night Freddy, and that's a good character, but less excitement on that end. I, I still think this plushie is good, don't get me wrong, but I made this plushie and I think it looks really good. Sorry, Shattered Glamour Shatter, Freddy, I, th I think I hate you too much right now. Being a Glamrock Freddy, I made another one. So we have upgraded Glamrock Freddy, which is maybe just Glamrock Freddy with a purple bow tie. I know he's he's Pog Champ. Uh, yellow eyes, just like this one. 
Uh, so, like, he has, and then Monty's freaking purple hands. So, pretty much, uh, Roxy get hit with car, eyes now. Monty fall off bridge, hands now. And then Chica get bashed in the face with feet now. And, and there's the voice box and turned the bow tie purple for some reason. I don't know why, but there. <coughs> the rest of the climb are pretty. And I had a little spike because... It, it, it would just look weird without him. So, there. There is upgraded Glamour Freddy. Jeez, that was way too much. Alright. Might as well. So, I made the one of the most u useless FNAF characters of all time. So, I made the Glamrock Freddy head from the from one of the ending. I think it was Vanny 2, the second Vanny ending. I just got, I just got the security breach guidebook and i'm just now figuring out that's what the name of the ending is <laughs> so yeah freddy lost his head i don't know how the first ending had shattered glamrock freddy and then he was a head i didn't understand that ending and it wasn't canon to begin with so it's okay if i don't understand it but here's um here's the head from that ending in case i wanted to replicate it might go back and just replicate every single ending in the game. Yeah, would that be a cool thing? Drop a like if you th think that'd be cool. Yeah, so it's literally just the Glamour Freddy head with teeth because it, like I said, with these two, or this one at least, it looks weird without teeth on a Glamour Freddy plushie. I guess it could slide with Funko because I don't want to mess it up anymore because I haven't gotten a new Glamour Freddy plushie yet. But looks, uh, once I get a new one, I'll customize it and make it look like how I want this to be. So I have full rights to add these teeth until I get the new one. So I can customize it and use it in my videos. Because I don't want to keep using my crappy one. I understand I upgraded my Roxy. And I don't need to get a new one. It's pretty much the only one I use. Monty's fine. She's fine. So that's fine. Alright. Next security breach system. Pat, pat. This is single-handedly the cutest thing I've ever made. I'm not gonna lie. You might you you might like fight with me that that's cute or that bad, but this is single handedly the cutest thing I've ever made, and you cannot change my mind. And if you do, I I will definitely come to your house tonight and steal all your Cheerios if you eat Cheerios. And if you do, they're all gone. Your breakfast is gone. Your breakfast is doomed. You don't not have your Cheerios. There. All right. So pretty much, flat stuffed cube or rectangle. Eyes makes it cute. Ears. So I made a a, a tape one, and I think I've had it for almost a year or two. A year or two, I think. Yeah. Yeah, a year or two. Um, so, it's tape, and I've had it for a while. So, I've decided... <coughs> sorry. That was way too big for Pat Pat's, like, design. So, I mean, it's smaller. I Glamour Bonnie is, is very tall compared to any of the other plushies, so I'll just... I'll get this one. He kind of, he's a small boy. He's about the... He's almost the same height as Gregory. He's a little smaller, but... My Gregory plush is decently small, so it don't really matter. I made him that way, so like it, the illusion of her, him going in Freddy's stomach actually works. Yeah. And it's got a little... It's on front and back, and it's got little treads. It's awesome. I know. I don't need to be praised. I shouldn't praise me. Just... Go subscribe to you or other YouTuber men's. Alright. Uh... I guess this character. So, I have a Glamour Granny plush. If you don't know already, I made it back in March. Back in March, I think. March or February. I made a Glamour Granny plushie. I, it was a, it's a custom design. Well, it's an altered design of Daco's one. So, I took this design that I made and the one from Daco. I fused them, made this. So, I took my design, which is this, and then I made it shattered 
by drawing a picture of what I wanted it to look like. I don't know what this weird substance on is. Probably barbecue sauce. This is my shattered glam art Bonnie design. So I took all the details from that, made this. So first of all, he's got scratch marks everywhere because I assume Monty beat the crap out of him. He's got some scratch marks back here, and they're much bigger. Um, <coughs> um, he's got like ripped open looking eye sockets, so it's kind of like wiggly. Like, he's sad. This, like, eye is pretty much broken. Like, and his, like, face is ripped open. It's, like, all cracked. And, like, the piece of his ear is missing. Like, someone took a bite of it. Like, um, um. Man, it's hard. That's what she said. Um, back here is more cracks. I think I overdid it a little bit. Um, then down here we have, like, a little scratch in the tummy. I feel like that's a little too, like, unoriginal. I just, like, Glamrock Freddy has the stomach hatch thing, and I mean, Shattered Glamrock Freddy has the ripped open stomach hatch. I don't even know if Glamrock Bonnie does even have a stomach hatch, so it makes it seem weird if he did. But overall, I don't really care, so I just added it anyways. I still have the, the stars right here, let me cut it up, make it look cool. Um, his, one of his overall straps is broken, and he's missing feet, and his leg covering. He's got, his arm is ripped up, and everything's just a little ripped up on him. So, he's, he's, he's pretty cool. I don't know what I'm doing with my life. Please help me. Alright, there you go. Back in your little pile of security breach stuff, my guy. Um, you have three more. You, you're the last. Um. So I guess we're going to go on to this driver assistant bot. So driver assistant bot, I made a one a while back, I think, maybe back in February. February or April? Well, no. February or January made a tape one. I literally, I, I destroyed it a while ago because I did not. I didn't want to remake it. Overall, what I wanted to do was get it over with. I didn't want to remake it at all. I just wanted to, to find a way to not make it. There's no way I'm turning back from it if I'm going to do a Security Breach Plus series. Yes, that's still coming after like four months. I've been trying to make as many of the plushies as I can. And I still need to make two more. Actually, no, I need to make three more plushies from Security Breach, and then I'll be able to make the series full fleshed out, just like Gabe's one, but ten parts. Okay, so back into the plushie. So the go-kart design is actually very simple. I just got, like, a piece of felt, like a, like a rectangle, folded it, and added another rectangle back here, hot glued it together, flapped it on a piece of felt with some... Some details with the eight and then like the lightning bolt. Um, added like a little rim to it, and then added and then added like a little, like, like under this I made like a weird like semicircle, looking thing, and I added the rim, and then I had the spoiler, and then I had the wheels. And that's like the the solid base for this. If you want me to make like a tutorial thing, I would. I just would. But I don't think I can. I've done tutorials for other plushies. Like Nightmare Freddy On a live stream. And. Um, and. Um, I did something for. Withered Bonnie. Not too long ago. And for the Paper Pal. So if you want to go watch those. They won't be in the description. But you can go check out my channel. If you aren't lazy. So I tried to spell Roxy. <laughs> With the felt, and then that failed. And I had this. I had the little hat, and with the green stripe and the ears, and the little purple <coughs> and cheeks, and yeah, that's pretty much just all the basis of the staff bot part. He's a little shorter than the staff bots, cause well, he's overall he's pretty much just half of the bot anyway. So there, he's a little shorty guy. Gregory can still easily fit with it. Like, go find Gregory, cause in the game he's like Gregory's just sitting there. I don't know where my Gregory plushie... There he is. 
Um, I have to dig in. Yeah. So you can easily fit Gregory in there. So I'll be able to make the scene fine. Just like, vroom. but in the game it's a little shorter, so you just see that. Maybe I should have made him taller. But who cares? I didn't. Goofy on me. And then we have the mangle. First of all, this is a plushie made by Browski. Uh, save me if I'm butchering the name. It's Browski, Mike Wazowski. I don't know, but he's a good. It's a good YouTuber that redesigns Five Nights at Freddy's plushies, and I really liked her design for Mangle. Her very, that, that was probably one of her most original designs for a character that I've seen on her channel. Uh, also kind of designed after Red Party's designs one. But overall, I decided I was going to remake remake the design. So, a while ago, four months ago, when I announced the Security Breach series, I made a mango plushie made of a metallic fabric I had. Metallic fabric did not want to stay intact. So I ended up just ripping off the head. I have the head of the original one right here in shambles. Ready to be destroyed because it's it's just ready to be destroyed now. It's just coming apart because that's the inside out of metallic fabric I used to use. Oh no, her, her muzzle literally just fell off. It snapped. Oh, it just snapped. See, that's how bad, like, this turned out, man. It's, you, I'll sell this for a dollar. I'll just sell Mangle's head without a muzzle for a dollar. That's kind of a stupid idea. But who cares? I made a new one. So I made the new head. But then I cut off the endo head and made it different. Make it look how, like, it's in the game. And only one wire says so it just kind of fell off. Um, and then I added my own little details, like little ear wires and uh, these little neck wires. And then I added some extra wires all around the body to make it look more like the mangle from the game. So, look <laughs> like I was talking about with Scott Coffin. 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 This. How to stop coffin at night. <laughs> uh, the cube. The cube idea came in the, into this part. And I made this. And I also made a tail because I didn't have any tiny of those cotton ball things. So, yeah, it's got a little bit of paint on it, but that's fine. It's actually marker, but who cares. So, I just did this. I had a basic design for the mangle head. So, I just, like, searched up mangle and just took aspects from broskies and, um... Normal mangle, and then I just made this design, which I think I really like. And then that looks cool. The neck was really, really making me mad, because I didn't know how long I wanted it to be. But I didn't want it to make it too short. So I had to make it, like, the perfect size. And I think this one turned out to make it look like how it would. And the bow tie is more authentic looking. It's got more pizzazz. And the and the head's got little wires coming out of it. One like three legs i don't I, I i really like this plushie and let's see it next to this plushie because it's probably most accurate so it's about the same height as a normal plushie and i like that i like that it's scaled up with a normal plushie i mean that's kind of what i was expecting but just to see if it, it actually is makes it feel really cool i think though i think though <laughs> So there it is. It's comparison. You never love the. I mean, need a jumbo mango plushie. But now we have the one. I think this took me three to four hours to make, even though that thing probably took me longer. Um. We have. The Afton amalgamation. Oh, so on there in the movie, I mean, corpse trap or apocalypse trap. Which was basically a, I guess you should say, attempt at making the Afton amalgamation from the books. Uh, not working, so I just made it like a creepy, gory looking creature used in the movie. But if you want me to, I'm going to sell. 
yeah. But overall, I made this, and I really like it. I like it more. So scale up with a plushie. It's about double the height of a normal plushie. And I like that because it adds, like, like if I use this in, like, an episode, it adds, like, suspense to the character. So it's made of, like, big parts of, like, broken, tip torn fabric, I guess. Bunches of, like, pipe cleaners. That was a mini arena, number uno. Mini arena, number dos. Foxy is in here. His, his, his head is dismembered. Uh, there's the puppet's <coughs> Oh, gosh. <coughs> this is puppet's head. It's kind of ripped up looking. Here's Bonnie's face. A little purple bow tie. I was going to add buck teeth, but they didn't, look, they didn't really look good. And it's like put together with like boards. Kind of like my burn trap. Made up of like weird looking contraptions of like metal boards nailed together it's like right there right there so you have like a foxy foot a bonny foot and more spring trap so it's described as a trash rabbit so i added a trap one of those he torn heavy duty trash black trash bags you proud of me <laughs> and some red right there that's technically just foxy's arm it's just trash and it's like five fingers because technically it's a human and then for the ears it's just a bunch of like weird to torn bits of fabric that i just had laying around after i made the rest of the body there's a bit of that blue some wires and pipe cleaners just a bit just a bit of everywhere i think he turned out really well along with mangle mangle and him probably one of the more longer characters even though i had to make i know ronnie during thanksgiving and i was doing things all day so to be fair camera call to be fair this took me a long a lot more longer time probably took me about six hours so here so there's the ultimate custom plushie review part five i'm filming this at like 10 o'clock at night it's not coming out until 7 in the morning tomorrow, which is the time you're probably watching this. Adios, amigos and amigas.